Hello and welcome to my Dissociative Identity Disorder. My name is Constance Miller. So there's been a very interesting turn of events when it comes to my DID. And I'm not quite sure what to think about it. It's something that is relatively foreign to my system. Um, but it's something worth talking about, and that's why I want to do this. So, my husband and I had an elder cat. She was uh, 15 years old. And for the last few months, she hadn't been doing very well. We weren't sure what the problem was. Um, it was a bit of a huge debate on whether we should have her put down or let nature take its course. Um, my husband had her the entire 15 years. I've only been a part of Mariah's life for the last eight years. So, almost half her life. And naturally you learn to grow and love your pets. And as with a lot of people, they're like children. And that certainly is the case with Mariah. And it got to the point that Mariah was getting so bad that Derek finally decided that it was going to be time to have her put down. And it was going to have to be done on Monday, January 8th. That was the soonest we could have it done. And on Saturday, January 6th, I switched. Gordon came out and I was supposed to work that day and he came out so Derek had to call off work for me and what a blessing in disguise that was actually. To be honest. So Derek and Gordon were on the couch and all of a sudden Mariah started to regurgitate and it sounded very unpleasant and then shortly after that apparently she let out this wail. And Derek had described it as a battle cry of sorts. And Gordon told him, you better go check on her. So Derek got up from the couch and went over to Mariah, who was sprawled out on the floor And he picked her up, and she was nearly lifeless. And he told Gordon she's dying. And Gordon was like, oh. 
and then left. Just left. Derek said that I hit my head on the couch behind me. I was out for I don't know how long, honestly. I don't think Derek does either. But I came to. And I looked at Derek and I'm usually in the fog when I come out of the ID episodes. But I knew something was wrong and I, I asked him, I said, what's going on? And he had Mariah in his arms sitting on the couch and he told me that she was dying. I instantly sprang up, walked around the coffee table, knelt down before them, and started petting her. And she was gasping. She had two gasps. And I was petting her. And then Derek said that she was gone. And I looked into her eye. I could only see one of her eyes. But I, I looked into her eye. And I saw it go black. I saw the light leave her eye. Now, a lot of people are going to say, because a lot of professionals say, that rapid switching isn't a thing with DID. I'm going to beg to differ. Um, I don't believe in instant switching. In a snap of a finger to go from one personality to another. It might happen with some people. It might not. I, I mean, I'm not an expert. I'm not here to say or judge or... anything like that. Usually with me, it's an altar will fall asleep. It'll be 20 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour, if not longer, before either another altar wakes up or I do. Um, in the meantime, I get total amnesia. So for something, <clears throat> excuse me, something so quick to happen like that, was sort of miraculous. And Gordon didn't front again until yesterday and that would have been the 20th sorry I'm blind without my glasses um so Gordon hadn't come back from the 6th to the 20th and obviously a lot has changed since then um, we had Mariah cremated and uh, we have her in an urn and there are um, a few little mementos we have of hers um, the funeral home did a paw prints of 
her two back paws and her front right paw and included a swatch of her fur uh, in a neat little box that you can put a photo in. And um, Derek had done some photo imprints of her paws. Not photo imprints, ink imprints. And so we have those. And it happened to be a few days ago that I stumbled across one of Mariah's favorite toys that she used to carry in her mouth and, and cry on occasion. Mariah wasn't very audible. So when she said something to you, it meant something. So whenever she had this little baby in her mouth, which is what we called it, um, it meant something. And I stumbled across that and put that next to her urn and paw prints. So Gordon came out the other day and And this is all secondhand from what Derek is telling me because I get amnesia when I switch. He said that Gordon felt that he couldn't handle watching Mariah die and went back into the system. which allowed me to come forward again by whatever psychological or professional examination you want to call that, I don't know. Can't tell you. But he said that he deliberately went back in. He said he couldn't do it again if he tried. He said it's not to be ex expected ever again. He just knew that he couldn't handle Mariah's passing. And he got to hold Mariah's urn and listen to Derek talk about her final moments and his appreciation for allowing me to come forward to be there for Mariah's final moments. It's, it's bone chilling to me. It really is. It's something that hits to my heart because had I not switched, I would have went to work that day. I would have not been there when Mariah passed away. And I would not have been able to be there with my husband. I would not have been able to say my final goodbyes to her. Because the funeral home came and picked her up roughly about an hour later after she passed. And that time was so precious. Is so precious to me and to Derek that we both were there 
when she left. I'm not sure what all of you believe in as far as the afterlife or what you believe in as far as dissociative identity disorder. I, regardless of all that, feel that everything happens for a reason. And whether a professional can sit there and say, Rabbit switching isn't a thing. Or if somebody were to say that mourning a pet is not the same as mourning a human being, I'm going to debunk all of that. Because I've lived it. I've been a part of this. This has changed my life. So, I personally want to thank Gordon. Maybe he'll watch this video at some point. That's the only way we can communicate, unless it's through Derek. Um, but I want to thank Gordon for doing what he did so I could be there for Mariah when she left. Love and light to you all.